Donald Trump, as we've talked about ad nauseum here, is uh, facing a lot of legal problems that are going to plague him for quite some time. But it wasn't until now that I, even me, I have reported on this again, countless times. I didn't even realize the extent of Donald Trump's legal problems. As it stands right now, Donald Trump is currently a listed defendant in at least 29 different lawsuits. And they run the gamut folks. You've got defamation lawsuits. You've got harassment lawsuits. You've got all kinds of other things happening here. You've got lawsuits over financials. You've got lawsuits over his treatment of women, man, this guy is going to single-handedly be propping up the entire legal industry for the next couple years, 29 lawsuits. Oh, and it gets better because not a single one of these 29 lawsuits is related to any of these invest, any of the investigations in New York or the potential charges that he could be facing in the state of Georgia. So as bad as it looks right now on paper, 29 lawsuits, that doesn't even cover the criminal stuff that he is facing that in many ways is far more serious than these other lawsuits. The other lawsuits probably going to result in him having to pay out a lot of money. Georgia and New York, eh, that could result in him spending some time in, in jail if they go the way that it kind of appears they're going. I mean, after all, in New York, they're now working on collecting witnesses to go and tell the story to the jury to basically explain what the evidence means. So the fact that they're already gathering up witnesses means that they have some evidence that they feel a good witness could explain to a jury resulting in a conviction. This is big. And let's also not forget that one of the lawsuits Donald Trump is facing, one of those 29 is from E. Jean Carroll, who says that Donald Trump uh, sexually assaulted her back in the nineties. And they're actually trying to get a DNA sample from Donald Trump that might prove that he did it. Now he called her a liar. It cost her her job. So she's only suing for defamation. She can't sue for the assault because the statute of limitations has uh, expired on that. But if they get the, the DNA, which is crucial to, uh, to her winning that case, that might prove that not only is, well, I don't even need to finish that. It would all, we all know what that would prove about the president, former president. So anyway, that's where we stand right now. 29 different lawsuits, multiple different criminal investigations, both at the state level in New York, at the Manhattan level. And of course the investigations in Georgia that could also result in criminal charges. And the ones in Georgia have also roped in a couple of his friends, Rudy Giuliani and Lindsey Graham are right there as well, man. It's going to be a very unpleasant couple of years for Donald Trump, legally speaking. And the kicker on all this, even though he's facing all this trouble, I mean, enough lawsuits to possibly bankrupt the guy, Republicans still feel the need to kiss his butt at every given opportunity. Good luck with your golden idol there, guys. Probably not going to pan out the way you think it is.